The lateral line is proudly partnered with Vertex Lubricants. It is raw time here in New Zealand and I have been bow hunting every single chance that I get. And when both myself and Milan have been free to go fishing, the weather has been horrific. But lucky for me, Milan has been out getting some much needed practice on how to film. Milan spent three early mornings in a row filming some keen young anglers who were doing their very best to catch a kingfish from the rocks. Well, it was an early start this morning. Got up, got some coffee, and had to come down to the beach to meet William. Now, the fishing today is gonna be epic. We've got the most amazing sunrise. The wind has dropped off for us and there's lots of big kingies moving in and eating bait right up in the shallows at the end of the beach. Now it's something I've been trying to do for a while and William's quite excited and the kingies are in here feeding. So I'm gonna get down and show you the action. Now William gets his live bait, he just sits it down here in front of him, sits the live bait down here and then when they come through he just pitches it at him. We've seen one fish this morning already. Filming with just an iPhone has made our lives far more straightforward and a lot more enjoyable, yes. But, filming with just an iPhone has insane challenges. Especially if you are wanting to get the very best out of what an iPhone is capable of. There are third party apps that give you full manual control over the cameras inside the iPhone. And with that app, you can achieve way more than the native camera app ever could. It took me nearly a year to be using that third party app to its full potential, and I still think there is a bit of room for improvement. Right there, right in front of you. Chuck it, yep, perfect cast, bro. See him? Yeah. I'm super keen to get Milan up to speed on just how to operate it as I am really enjoying being a fisherman once more. I still enjoy filming and vlogging the way I do to create the lateral line more so than I'll enjoy being the fisherman, but I would very much like to be able to give the phone to Milan and do some more fishing here and there. And I'm sure it won't be long before that will be the case. Live baits are acquired. Now it's just a matter for the sun to come up and the kings to start cruising. Yesterday it was epic. Today I think it's going to be even better because there's no boat traffic. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Alex is on! William's going to climb in and pull it off the rocks if he goes in the rock. Oh! Dusted. So close. Pretty sure he rubbed on the rock. The trials and tribulations of land-based fishing. That's why kingies off the rocks are so valued. Milan is making all the very same mistakes that I made when I started filming my little bow hunting videos some five years ago. In my mind, the best way to learn is by doing. Making mistakes, and then of course learning from those mistakes. If Milan is anything like me, he has a lot more mistakes to make. The boys have been up all night fishing, went fishing with me, then went out kayak fishing, caught a kingfish in the kayak, and yet again, I'm meeting William first thing in the morning down here on the rocks. I love young enthusiasm, and I love to be able to help young guys catch big fish. So today, day three, let's hope that we can put a hook in a good kingfish, hold on and land the fish that he's been after. Out he goes. Big kingfish, here we come. You look like the karate kid. That's good though, he's swimming straight out there. Woo! 
Whoa! Hey, 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 hey. You get him? Hey, don't get him! Oh, you got him! Woohoohoo! That's a good one, all right. Did you see the eight? It was spectacular. Yeah, I filmed all of that, man. You said your livey was having a little bit of a I'm not very happy moment. Turned him nicely, William. Fish off the rocks is a fish off the rocks. William's going to have to land his own fish today. Oh, he, oh, he wants him in the rocks. Nice stop, nice recovery. Fish is trying to do him. Oh, he's got him back. Got it. Whew. Now stay low and just pick him up and get him on you. Well, let's get this out of the way. What do you got to say? Something, say something awesome. Oh, so good to get them in, like, can't even speak. Kingfish are awesome, eh? Yeah, awesome. <laughs> so good. Okay, send them back. Right, going back. Awesome effort, bro. Absolutely awesome effort. That is young enthusiasm at its best. Three mornings in a row, 5.30, when you're young and you love fishing, you fish 24-7 because you can. And I wish I could fish 24-7 still, because I've still got the young enthusiasm. That is just the best ever. Kingies off the rocks, you can't get any better. Milan has been telling me for years and years about a beautiful piece of property that some of his family friends own. He's been saying that we could go down there and stay in a very homely little cottage with stunning views of the surrounding hills. And the story that Milan keeps telling me of this place is, you can go for a quick ride on a four-wheel motorbike to an absolutely beautiful river that is full of big trout. You can then search the river looking for those trout, and once you have spotted said trout, you can then cast little bib lures at them on very light spin tackle and watch the trout swim over and smash them. Now, I have to admit to thinking that it all sounded a little bit good to be true, you know? But of course, I was definitely keen to go hang out in the wilderness with my brother from another mother and just try to catch a trout. As it turns out, Milan's story was pretty much bang on there is a beautiful river that river is full of big trout and yes you can catch those trout on little bib lures on spin gear i caught a trout just in case you didn't know hello mr eel The things you find in the river. Got a little river friend. Beautiful eel. Coming in to eat buggy <laughs> shoes. One thing the farm has is an incredible amount of incredible blackberries. I've never eaten so many blackberries in such a long time. See the water spider. Look at him down here monster. See how the air sticks to his fur? So he can breathe underwater. Oh look at that big caddis larvae coming out. That's why there's so many big trout in the river. Look how the air sucks around him. When he comes out of the water, he's got no water on him. He's dry. Look at that.
There is also a deer farm there, and a fenced in hunting block, and a free range hunting block with good numbers of deer on it. Milan done his very best while he was there to film the deer to show me. Well, probably more to tease me than to show me as all good mates do, right? While doing so, Milan found out that it's really hard to get close to a deer. So he tried filming the deer through an old pair of binos and that footage was a bit, um, questionable. But Milan, with his still camera in hand, was a completely different story. He was able to take some unbelievable pictures of what I would call dream animals. Needless to say, I am stupid amounts of keen to get down there at some stage. Just to get close to those animals, see those animals, do what those animals do would be simply amazing. And of course, yes, I would very much like to go sight cast for one of those big beautiful trout. My hopes and prayers are going towards that happening very, very soon. I absolutely love bow hunting. Love it, love it, love it. And I started making videos of myself bow hunting with my phone years and years ago to show my girlfriend at the time because she loved coming bow hunting with me. And when she couldn't come due to work and other commitments, she was gutted. So I would make a little video of my day to show her so she didn't miss out altogether. Milan also watched my little iPhone creations and thought they were pretty cool. And ultimately, that is where the entire idea for a YouTube fishing channel filmed with just an iPhone came from. Now, because Milan and I were going to make a YouTube channel about fishing, I thought it to be a pretty good idea that I actually do just that and start a YouTube channel and upload all my hunting videos as a kind of trial run to learn from basically as I had no idea how to do any of the YouTube stuff at the time. After I'd uploaded the videos and learnt what I needed to learn, making thumbnails etc, I'd planned to just delete the entire channel. But once it was there, it seemed silly to just delete it. So yeah, NATO has a bow hunting YouTube channel. And if you like the lateral line and you enjoy hunting, you might just enjoy watching me rock around in the bush with my bow and arrow. It's just me and my phone. And I mostly hunt fallow deer as I just love everything about those little ninjas. Fellow bucks are incredibly hard to find and the antlers they grow are just so very unique. I have in the last couple of years got right into tree hunting for the big mature bucks as I feel it is a lot more selective. And I really enjoy all the scouting slash reconnaissance that goes into the tree hunting. Right now my biggest goal in hunting is to take a mature buck off public land with my bow and arrow and then have another one of my brothers from another mother, Simon, at Bull of in True Life Taxidermy immortalize him, as he was kind enough to do for me to the very first deer that I ever got with my bow after hunting one piece of private land for over a year and a half. In what feels like a past life at times, I was a two-time heavy weight overall Mr. New Zealand in bodybuilding. And I'll sit here right now and tell you that bow hunting is considerably harder than bodybuilding ever was. I'm having the most fun when I'm learning and after seven years of bow hunting, I know that I'm never gonna stop learning or feel like I've conquered the world of bow hunting. The mental challenges of bow hunting are enormous but the mental benefits are of equal value. And of course I love the physical challenges and benefits that come with it also. I have no schedule as to when I upload hunting videos as the lateral line will always take priority as the lateral line has partners. 
but I love filming my hunting as it adds another challenge to it all, so videos will get uploaded here and there. I will endeavour to learn how to put a link in the description below, and to any one of you that follow that link and do all the YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, blah, 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 chur chur my brothers, I really appreciate it, and I promise you that next time you see me, Milan and NATO will be on one of their fishing missions. Thanks for watching. The lateral line is proudly partnered with Vertex Lubricants.